Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 33 of Darwell20's Let's Play Not Too Complicated series. Uh, where today, I'm just getting all my stuff ready to go build a nice little platform. Uh, in which I will be making uh, a very nice and very fancy looking nuclear reactor and turbine setup. From Mechanism. Hooray! Everybody's excited. So, uh, what's the plan? What's the plan? I know that's what you're asking, and your answers will come shortly. <clears throat> so, chisel, good, looking cool. Uh, have my stuff. So I did build, between episodes, a test reactor, as you can see. I prepped all the requirements, and guess what? The roof and ceiling can both be made out of glass. They 100% can be made out of glass, which is good news. I literally just wanted to see if this fission reactor would form. Some multi-blocks like the floor and ceiling to be made out of the block mechanic. Some don't seem to care if they're made out of glass or not. You know, sometimes the rules are the sides can be glass, but the base and the ceiling can't. With the mechanism reactor, absolutely accepts glass, which is good news because I would have needed 50 more fission reactor casings, which as we know, uh, we're a little bit steel casing-y. So glad that we didn't have to do that. So that said, I'm now going to go set up a uh, fission reactor area. Uh, how about we just go like do north? Is this north? No, this is east. Let's go do north. Well, you yeah, know, let's go do east. We'll go do east. I, I like this direction. I'm just going to go ish in this direction. Let's go to like around, oh, windswept. Why do I feel like this is snow? Is that snow? I definitely don't want snow and taiga. No, we don't want that, do we? I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't want snow on my reactor. Thank you very much, but no. Warm beach, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Mangrove marsh, sure. We're gonna hit, you know, I wanna make sure we're far enough away. Let's go, sure. This feels good enough. Hooray! Now I'm at Y level 70 when I'm standing on the platform, let's see. Where, what's this platform at? Because I think I'm a little bit high. <clears throat> 65. Good to know. So let's get this down. If that's 70, then this will be 69, 8, 7, 6, 65. Right, 65 when I'm standing on the platform. 65. When I'm standing on the platform. All right, horizontal wall, ready to go. And I'm just going to expand this platform-ish. I mean, it's it's still a little bit close, if I'm being honest, but not too close. Hopefully, that if we have a nuclear meltdown, which have we yet to have an episode or a series of the Diable 20 stuff where I haven't accidentally caused a nuclear disaster? Like, has that ever happened? I, I feel like the answer is no. I feel like I've always, you know had some mishaps now, you know, here and there, but, mm. Come on, range, let's go. Feral Flare Lantern, please. Looks like we're low on glass. Give me a couple hundred. That should craft quickly, courtesy of me doing it the other way now. And then uh, we'll just kind of go plop this guy down. Hopefully not too many mobs have spawned. Yeah, we got a few. Yeah, we got a few. It now suddenly occurs to me um, that we 100% do not have any armor on at all. <laughs> Classic Dyer. I didn't even check to see if I centered that correctly, but I'm going to call it probably good enough. Um, just enough to do what I want. Now, you might also notice there's a lot of flies going on over there. Um, let's get ourselves a dread lamp. And that will help prevent that from happening because flies are annoying remember i was dealing with them a while back and maybe what i'll do is well now that i'm less concerned about my life i'll kind of go for a little bit slightly more centered position is that is that close enough to centered i'm gonna say yes yay for all the lighting up yeah <laughs> Cool. So, got a platform now. I'm going to get us a reactor set up pretty lickety split, to be honest with you. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard of a thing to set up. Um, you know, I could easily just do that and then that. Oops. 
And we're ready to go, right? Yeah. So we're making our first reactor today. I think the basic gist will be as follows. I think what I'm going to have is let's put the reactor further away from our base. So maybe like the reactor here, the turbine here, and then some supporting stuff here in front of it. And then we'll have a, you know, if we have to shrink the platform, we can or whatever we feel like doing. We should also try to keep everything within a chunk boundary, which thus far I am not doing a good job of. Not at all. So let's expand this out a little bit more-ish so that we have like an entire, oh yeah, the chunk lining is not great, is it? It's really not. It's super duper not. So let's do this. I'm just gonna move everything over um, so that it's more aligned with chunks. And I feel like that would be the smarter way to go. Cool. Uh, now I do have this guy so that if I'm out and about and we wanna sort things, we can easily do that, which seems pretty cool. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna wanna do I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that we're like nicely aligned with a chunk. So I'm basically gonna do that. That feels good, right? So that it's a little bit more than a chunk. That should be enough, yeah. So that'll all be self-contained in one chunk and ideally we can make it so that, you know, stuff's cool there, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna plop you here-ish. That seem about centered? About. I need to clear out some more spacing here. All right, so this looks good to me. So I'm gonna have a five by five and a seven by seven. So that's seven plus five is 12. So that gives four gap in between. I think that should be plenty. So let's get our reactor set up first. So that's not gonna be hard, like I said. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that kind of, yeah, it's fine. Here's fine, All right? So I'm gonna go like here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, six, and five. And then it's seven tall, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Like this. And five. And then you are gonna do a lot of building to me, so we're gonna be prepared for that mechanic. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now for glass, it's going to be very much the same. Okay. Cool. And then the last bit of glass is gonna go here. And then inside, remember we need control rod assemblies to be spaced like so. You'll note that I have pretty much exactly enough of everything. Then fission fuel rod assemblies from those down to the ground. Okay. So like this. And remember, if you click on the reactor itself, it gets a little touchy about stuff. It thinks you're clicking on it. Boom, formed. So that's a valid reactor right there. Okay. Uh, now we're probably going to want some semblance of water coming in the back. So I think we'll probably have that with our reactor i've got one some maybe i don't have one i might have left it over there now that it, it occurs to me that um these guys yeah so we're gonna want four of these probably so i want two more fission reactor ports which is going to require a whole multi-block crafting but that's okay uh and the reason we want this is we want one for fuel in one for waste out one for water in, one for steam out. So we want four reactor ports, okay? So that should be cool. And how is my questing doing for mechanism? Like, are you groovy with all like the things I'm making here? Cause I saw something somewhere just be like, yeah, you're good. I'm assuming there's a quest somewhere for fission. 
but maybe not. Guess what's happening? Auto crafting's happening. Maybe it's the isotropic centrifuge before we can get into the big reactor stuffs. Yeah, yeah. So I assume that you want me to make one of these before we can actually get quest rewards and whatnot. So we're gonna need more lead, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. And I did not make the seeds between episodes as I promised I would, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there at some point. Okay. So there's that. So isotropic centrifuge, you should be good. We just need a basic chemical tank and we need some control circuits. I just wanna make one so that the quests can do the questy things. And that's not too hard to make, remember. It's just, you know, a few steps. And then boom. Look at all the quests we completed. Hooray! <laughs> nice. Uh, so you also want to see that stuff, and then that'll get me actually some reprocessed fissile fuel fragments. That's kind of cool. That's exciting as a reward. I do actually want that. Um, what do we get quest rewardy wise Oh, feathers. That's right. I had to make feathers for the angel blocks. Cool. It's been a while since we've really been paying attention to the quests, but that's fine. I think we're, I think we're good. Um, that's cool. So yeah, let's get the big reactor cooking. So we've got that ready to go. So remember, water in, steam out, and then fuel in and fuel out. Okay, so like, let's have, I might want steam up here, because remember, you want the steam to go to the top, right? And we might need multiple steam outs, but we'll deal with that when the great one, you know, the time comes. Um, and then maybe our, uh, Maybe our fuel can be in on this side and like our waste can be out over here. And if my memory serves correctly, I'm going to want a configurator to change that. So you're gonna be output waste, output coolant, input only. All right, so you both can be input. You're gonna be the output of waste and you're gonna be the output of coolant. And then to make you guys happy, we're gonna do this. Cool. Sweet. Quest complete, big reactor. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. And then that can turn into fissile fuel if we want, but we're going to want to set up the main fissile fuel production line. And remember to be careful with, you know, handling nuclear products. I don't have my thing on and I probably should. So we should be we should be smarter about that. But meh. I'm assuming they're not gonna give me a quest reward that would poison and kill me. That would be rude, right? Now didn't I make a fission reactor logic-y dude? I think I did, but I might not have got it. Uh, I taught it how to make them. I didn't actually make one though. So that's fine. Do you have to make another one of those steel things? Because that's going to be annoying. We'll be back. There we go. Fission reactor. We definitely want that. Remember, that's going to turn uh, things on and off. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I want I want two of those, don't I? Yeah, luckily they're not that expensive. I'm going to sleep through this night too. All right, so the next setup will be a three by three. And uh, because I put this a little bit close, I should have moved him. I should have been two blocks away. I should have been one. But that's fine. Uh, this guy's going to be a five by five setup. So he's going to be like this. Okay. And then nine tall. Cool. Did I something that wrong? I may have mathed that wrong a little bit. Shouldn't be too badly off though. I have to remember how the top gets built. Yeah, that's the problem is the top gets built a little bit funny. I mathed out how many of these blocks I need, but they're not expensive, so not a big deal. But I'm guessing it's that. Okay, let me now remember how this is built. Um, so let's see, the base? 
Do they all have to be turbine casings in the base? I'm gonna assume that the reactor glass works. But like I said, the turbine casings are not expensive. So we should be fine there. And then uh, at the top, we basically want all turbine vents at the top. Right? Um, and then all the sides there are casings at the top level but then saturating condensers underneath that and turbine vents on the sides, okay? Uh, but we still do want actually all of you guys. So did I math wrong on my turbine casings? I may have, I may have. I thought I'd got enough casings, but it looks like we need about a dozen more. I'm gonna get 16 more because I'm pretty sure it makes four at a time, right? Yeah, told you they're cheap. They're not hard. Not a big deal. Cool. So then underneath that is saturating condensers and then turbine vents on the sides of it, right? So it's a three by three of saturating condensers on this level and then vents on the side of all those. Okay, then underneath that is another three by three minus two. Let's do it like that. I don't think it matters where I put this with the two electromagnetic coils here and here. And then it's all but one is going to be a turbine vent. And again, I don't think it matters which one is not a turbine vent. I think it just counts the blocks. It doesn't care too much where they are. All right, now underneath the middle magnetic coil is gonna go the one and only rotational complex. And then surrounding that is gonna be more pressure dispersers. Okay. And then straight down from there will be all the these guys okay and then you get eight of these so does it matter where they go i guess it's you know what it is it's like that and that's cool okay and then turbine glass all the way down and it's it's funny but remember it's the same glass that you use for the nuclear reactor it's turbine glass or it's not turbine glass, it's reactor glass. And then you should be happy. Nice, cool. And that's a well-formed reactor. Okay, perfect. Uh, now I do want my logic to be self-contained within the same chunk. So we're gonna have you know some kind of intelligent-ish logic on these guys. So that looks cool. And now we just need water and fissile fuel uh, and we should be good. So let me go refresh my memory but the two multi-blocks are formed. So that's a big part of, you know, what's up. And look at this, we wound up with 16 extra um, reactor glass. I, I was off on some calculation somewhere with how much glass versus casings I needed. So not too shabby. All right, so with that said, let me remember fissile fuel. So fissile fuel, this stuff, is made in an isotropic centrifuge, which we already have one of, from uranium hexafluoride, which is made in a chemical infuser. Uh, from uranium oxide, which is made in a chemical oxidizer from yellow cake uranium. Yellow cake uranium is made in an enrichment chamber from uranium ingots, which have EMC. Very important, right? Okay. Then we need hydrofluoric acid. Okay. So that's these two. So hydrofluoric acid comes from a chemical dissolution chamber from fluorite, which has EMC, and sulfuric acid, which we can make... Can't we just item to gas it? Sulfur dust to sulfuric acid? But that's like, no. I think we have to do it the, this way. I think we have to do it the chemical infuser way. So we're gonna need two chemical infusers, water vapor and sulfur trioxide. Water vapor is just um, decondensating water. So that's not a big deal. So we'll need a rotary condensator. And then we need sulfur trioxide, which is oxygen and sulfur dioxide in a chemical infuser. And that is a chemical oxidizer of sulfur dust, which um, 
we can grow if we want. Yeah, I don't think there's EMC to it, but it's growable. So that's probably what we'll wind up doing. Deal? All right, cool. So let me count all the machines I need. Let me craft all the machines I, may, I need. And then we'll come back in five or 10 minutes to put that all together and get our fissile fuel production line going. So I think I've got all the machines that I need to make fissile fuel. I decided to whip up a quick quantum entangleoper or two, which is a quest reward, by the way. Aha! Got a third one. Nice. Maybe we'll want a fourth. We'll find out. Uh, now, I should also do the sulfur seeds. Why don't I... Why don't I get that going? Yeah, it seems like a pretty smart move, right? Uh, and then in terms of getting the sulfur seeds over there, we could probably quantum entangle over them over there. Or we could just have... Uh, I think I want them downstairs in my sulfur seed production area and then yeah we'll go we'll go we'll go from there right um so get me more of these i think i'm pretty good on chests uh and we need more hopper botany pots yes be right back once i set this up all right, guys, we are back, and I think that I'm ready to do this now. So uh, I got started with my isotropic centrifuge. I've crafted all the components we need. I've got sulfur seeds going. Let's give this a shot. So the first thing we need to get uh, for fissile fuel, which is what we're making here, is uranium hexafluoride, right? So we've got fissile fuel being made in the isotropic centrifuge. Uranium hexafluoride is made in a chemical infuser, right? So we've got a chemical infuser uh there we go that should be fine and your job will be to output gases to the front and input gases on either side because uranium hexafluoride is going to be gas plus gas equals gas so we really only care about gases coming in and out we don't need items in this one okay so that's your uranium hexafluoride okay that is made with uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid. So we're working backwards at this point, right? So I'm just gonna clear these guys out because I have a rough idea of where I'm at. So uranium oxide is a chemical oxidizer of yellow cake uranium. So chemical oxidizer. And you're going to be, do I have another chemical oxidizer here? What side? Yes, I'm gonna use this one because I started doing this and then realized my recording hadn't started, so I'm putting it back together. Um, so you're going to, items can be input from the right, right? So you're going to make items and then push gases out to the left. Cool. And then my enrichment chamber here, which you can see I already put your anyway gets in, uh, is going to eject on to the left, okay? Output to the left, input from whatever side, right? So your anyway gets goes in, it turns into yellow cake uranium. Yellow cake uranium turns into uranium oxide. Cool? So those guys are done. Now we need hydrofluoric acid on the right side of this machine. And uh, you know me, I'm going to turn off my recent stuff. That should be cool. Perfect. So hydrofluoric acid is made in a chemical dissolution chamber. And some universal cables to go down here. Chemical dissolution chamber. Um, and you're going to accept sulfuric acid, which I'm pretty sure is the gaseous kind. So you're going to be gases, output on the right, input from the left, and items can be input from the top. Okay? Um, so for now, yeah, let's just throw the, um, stuff in there manually. So what's it called? Uh, flowerite. I know it's fluorite. I'm just being silly, right? And then that's that bit. Cool. All right. So that covers you two. And we should know which resources we need to EMC, right? And even though sulfur dust is not EMC, it's still a thing we're gonna wanna get. All right, so with that, now we need sulfuric acid in a chemical infuser. So the chemical infuser for sulfuric acid, um, I want you for, you don't need any items, but for gases, 
I'd like you to output to the right your sulfuric acid, right? Because you need sulfuric acid in the chemical dissolution chamber to make your hydrofluoric acid, which is also outputting to the right ejecton, perfect. So um, you need water vapor and sulfur trioxide. So water vapor will come from a rotary condensator. So let's have the water vapor come from, so the orange will be the back. And that'll be our rotary condensator here, okay? And then you will get water from the top and you will output your gases to the left. That sounds cool. And I'm trying to keep this chunk contained, so I will probably um, have the water come in the top via a pipe. And I don't think I made anything for water, and I should. So let me get a quick aqueous accumulator, just so we have this ready. I don't think that there's much by way. Can you make a couple more of these? That would be super. I don't think these work in the rotary confidence, but you know, we'll see. Um, we can have expanded tank constructions though. That should be cool. That should be cool. Right? I just wanna see what else you're working on. Cancel you, cancel you. I don't know why you're being so weird. Oh, maybe obsidian dust doesn't come from a pole, from a crusher. I think that is actually true, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You're trying to crush your obsidian dust, aren't you? We should move that. Uh, obsidian dust. See, I'm finding mistakes in my design. I should put that back in the pulverizer, shouldn't I? Yeah, there's some recipes that are not equivalencies. Yeah, now we're cooking. Sweet. Give me those augments. And I'm suspecting I'm going to need another one of these, so I'm going to prep it now and be good. And then we'll do our ice thing to get that thing built. Cool. So you're going to get water in the top here for your rotary condensator. Okay, and I should have mechanical pipes ready to go. And... We'll figure out where I'm gonna put the water bit in a minute, but it'll probably be here-ish. But we'll figure that out in a sec. So that's water going in the top, right? And that makes us sulfuric acid. So now we need the water vapors covered, the sulfuric acid's covered. Now we need sulfur trioxide in a chemical infuser. So that's another chemical infuser who will output to the right, and that's going to need oxygen and sulfur dioxide. Let's have the oxygen come in the back. Okay, so your red side will be here for the input. Your red will be the back for the input. And you're gonna um, also have orange from the left. And that'll be our sulfur dioxide, okay? So that'll be oxygen coming in here. And then you will be the electrolytic separator. And I think I want you facing this way so that your side config so fluid will be input on the top. Gases will be output two on the right with auto eject, and you're gonna dump excess hydrogen. Cool. This is working out so far. And then you're gonna have a mechanical pipe on top here for the water as well. Cool. So he will also get water. Deal. All right. That'll make sulfur trioxide and oxygen. And then sulfur dioxide will be your chemical oxidizer, which will be here. And you will get uh, sulfur, which I forgot to bring with me. So let me go get that real quick. And you'll just import in the back by uh, something. Okay, we'll figure this out in a minute. Probably quantum entangleover. I'm thinking. And I don't think, well, I'll keep this up for a minute. 
So probably Quantum Entangloper. So your side config for items can basically be input on any side, but then for gases, you're gonna eject to the right. Cool, so I put that in there and that's perfect. So then we want, um, I'm gonna make my, this guy here. I'm gonna have a boop boop. That should be safe. And then if I get myself some water via ice, you're gonna get one of these and two of these. That's right, you can only have one, that's fine then. Oops. All right, so you should be making lots of water. Then we get our mechanical pipe. Then we configurator it. And now everybody should be running, right? So you're turning sulfur dust into um, sulfur dioxide, combining it with oxygen from here. The oxygen is turning into sulfur trioxide, which is dumping into here which is combining with water vapor, making sulfuric acid, which is combining with fluorite, which is com making hydrofluoric acid, which is combining with uranium oxide to make uranium hexafluoride, which is making fissile fuel. Boom, production line complete. How cool is that? I love it. Very nice, very compact, works for me, right? And then if we wanted to, we can mute a few uh, mechanism -y machines. Cool, perfect, perfect. All right, so the one last piece here is I am also going to want uh, water production back here. And hopefully you're producing enough water. I guess we'll find out. I've never done this with this water maker before, but we could also get the pump if we needed to for mechanism. But we're going to try something different because it's what Dyer does at times. He likes to try things a little different, right? So we'll try this. And if it's not fast enough, like I said, we'll just deal with it. Okay. We can, we can throw a pump in here. We can kind of do whatever we want. Okay. So you're going to do that. You're going to make lots of water. He's filling up. Yeah, not too shabby. And hey, if we wanted to, it's always an option just to get the initial bunch of coolant in there. And then if we need to deal with some problems, we can deal with some problems in the future. If we need more pumps, if we need more water, whatever, right? So let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. I'm gonna wind up installing the fissile fuel. We're also gonna set up a um, output for the, for, the, for the nuclear waste. We're probably gonna have to put in this chunk over here, the nuclear waste processing, but that's fine. I just wanted my multi-blocks within one chunk and we did fit them. Uh, we'll, we'll set up our outputs here for the fission reactor doohickey. Your output coolant, input only, output waste, output coolant. That's what we want, right? Output coolant. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, you know, we should be cool. I think so. We'll find out next episode. For now, Delta Twice signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time with more fissile fuel. We'll automate the, cre the, the insertion of uranium. We'll automate the insertion of sulfur dust. We'll automate the insertion of flowerite uh, and all that good stuff. And we should probably make some speed upgrades for all this and, you know, get everything going. Probably some gas upgrades, too. Uh, I feel like there's probably a, a case for that. So I'll do all that between episodes. For now, take it easy.